Today's video is all about Little One. As you know, if you watch my videos, I have four guinea pigs. Pebbles, Frida, Sylvester and Little One. One of you suggested to make a video about each of the guinea pigs, which I'm now going to do. I'm going to upload the videos in a chronological order, starting with the guinea pig I first laid eyes on. But let's get on with the video. Little One is Pebbles' son and his birth was quite a surprise. We adopted Pebbles and Frida from, looking back, probably a not so reliable person who rescued guinea pigs. Because guinea pigs start showing really late, we didn't know Pebbles was pregnant. We also don't know Little One's father, which means we have no idea whether he will develop genetic problems, for example teeth problems, when he gets older. This, by the way, is one of the reasons why you shouldn't breed guinea pigs. You don't know if one of the guinea pigs is a carrier for a disease. Little one is the youngest in my group. He turned two a few months ago and he's male. He was neutered at three weeks so that he could stay in the group and never had to be taken away from Pebbles. He's super curious and isn't scared of anything. He's always in a good mood and busy exploring something. That's why I call him Mr. Busy sometimes. He loves floor time more than anything and he's super active, probably because he's still very young. He often runs upstairs, then downstairs and then upstairs again because he's trying to motivate the others to run around with him. During floor time, Frida is his partner in crime as they both are super curious and love to explore. Little one looks up to Sylvester and always has since he was born. When he was old enough to walk around the cage without his mother, he immediately started following Sylvester everywhere he went. When Sylvester goes to the hay rack to eat, so does Little One. Little One still mimics his behavior. Because Sylvester is the boss in my group and Little One, due to being the youngest, is the lowest in rank, he's also a bit careful in Sylvester's presence because if he gets too crazy, Sylvester likes to tell him off. However, Little One still copies Sylvester's behavior and tries to eat the same veggies Sylvester eats. Little One is still closest to Pebbles relationship-wise, even though I don't think that they know that they are related. It might be because both of them have no sense of personal space. Pebbles and Little One are extremely similar in their behavior and the two of them sometimes like to cuddle. He likes to pretend that he's the boss guinea pig until Sylvester or one of the girls tell him otherwise. Little One is also very vocal and my loudest guinea pig. He's the only guinea pig to ever explore my whole apartment and loves to find new places to hide. When I call him, he usually comes running towards me and he always licks my hand. He's obsessed with pea flakes, but because he gained quite a lot of weight, he's only allowed one in the morning. Little One is also the only guinea pig that always pees in the hammock so that no one can use it anymore because it's wet. His favorite place is the wooden house, but because it's kind of Frida's house, he isn't allowed in it very often. When he's allowed to sleep in the house, he makes sure that no one disturbs him by squeaking like crazy when another guinea pig dares to sleep near the house. He also loves the hay rack house. His favorite vegetable is cucumber and lettuce and his favorite fruit is a blueberry. These were all of my guinea pigs. I hope you enjoyed this little series and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!